welcome to the channel today we are going to balance this reaction this is hydrochloric acid this is potassium hydroxide this is potassium chloride the, the, and this is water okay to balance this reaction in the left hand side look we have hydrogen so let me write the number of hydrogen which is one here then we have chlorine which is one then we have potassium one then we have oxygen then we have hydrogen so let me add here one more hydrogen that is two in the right hand side we have potassium so let me write potassium then we have chlorine so let me write here then we have hydrogen so let me write here then we have here oxygen so let me write here okay to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of hydrogen chlorine potassium and oxygen from both sides so look here two two hydrogen two hydrogen then two here chlorine one sorry chlorine one chlorine one and potassium one potassium one oxygen one oxygen one so everything is balanced right so you can say that this is the balanced reaction okay now i will show you the second method to balance this reaction so let me delete th this thing look in the left hand side we have hydrogen so let me write then we have chlorine so let me write then we have potassium let me write then we have which OH is a polyatomic ion right look OH is a polyatomic ion so we can consider this OH as a whole unit but in the right hand side we don't have OH but we can write water as H OH right so let me write H OH this will help us to balance many equation many chemical reaction easily right so look potassium here so let me write here potassium then we have chlorine so let me write here then we have H then we have OH so look to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of hydrogen which is one one then chlorine one one potassium one one then which which okay so this is the balanced chemical equation in reaction so at last you you have to change this water you have to change this water as normal So thank you for viewing this video be well